very sorry She said, do you miss me, baby? All I said was Harley You should bring your sister, she could ride me like a Harley I might tag team with Mama Young Jeff Hardy Yeah, I might put to your party Keep a glizzy on me just in case he try to ride Alright, so what you guys first are gonna do is you wanna put your song in, which I already did. Then next, you're gonna wanna get your clip. So now I have my clip imported. Now I'm gonna put it into the thing with 1920 by 1080. Sorry for the long horn background. Then you're gonna wanna actually sync your clip up to the beat of the song. So, so if the beat of the song drops here. You're gonna wanna mark this like that with the M. You can press M on the music and then you wanna sync up to your clip right. So where the guy shoots, right where you, when you right when you see the hip marker, you're gonna wanna put M right there, and you're gonna wanna um, shorten this clip up so that the marker on here and marker on that line up so you can like they get a nice sync. So now that I have my clip synced up, it's playing right now, and let's see how it goes. This is just the basic. So you can see it's synced right there. Now what you're going to want to do is, I will put this in the description, but you're going to first want to, when you have this imported, Alright, when you have your sound effects, you're going to want to do sound effects too. And you're going to want to put it right, like, you're going to want to put it kind of like a bit ahead. So that, like, you can, like, this will uh, drop, this like, up high right here. You're going to want to mix it, put it right where the beat drop ends, right here too. So that it sounds good. I could probably move the back one so that it sinks up better. Hold up one more. I think this might be good. So it's not that bad. Might shorten it up a bit to help. But other than that, then it's good. And uh, yeah, you have that. Next, you're going to want to add a sample color. Probably the blue. And you're going to put it near the marker right here. You're going to go to compo Composition. Give it to about 29, and it looks pretty good. And you're gonna want to shorten this clip. Actually, hold on, not clip it. So, to get to the velocity, you're gonna want to cut right where he pulls out his shotgun, and then you're gonna wait till he fires right before the fire. So this clip right here, you're gonna want to cut it, and then when after that, when he like about right here, depending on where your clip is, or whenever you see the name pop up, but in my in this case it doesn't show up for me. I'm gonna wanna cut it, make this four to get a nice um, clean velocity, and you're gonna wanna add this to slow mo, which is five, and then this the first clip before to slow mo in five. And you're probably gonna want to shorten this up a bit so that your clip can fit. You're gonna wanna do this, take this. Let's see, hold on. So you're gonna move, you wanna make it to where it fits. You can also cut up the song too, if you want. As you can see, the com the composition of this is pretty clean. But what you're wanna gonna do to make it more cleaner, just put a dissolve over it and make it full length, and it looks way cleaner. Probably have to add more composition to this so that you get the blue look first.
And I want to shorten the slow mo up, and then you have this. Now, yes, I am going to show you the best part probably of this, and it's going to be the flickering effect and the underwater and like kind of like stuttering effect. So what you're going to want to do is where your slow-mo starts, the first slow-mo, you're going to cut the music. This is what I do. Then you're going to do it to where right before the fast comes in, you want to cut it again. Then what you want to do is you're going to go here. You can put it on low bass, or you can go to customize and kind of make it like this. You can make it like this, and you'll still kind of get the same effect. Um, I'll let you copy it down right now. Hold on. You can copy this effect here. As you can kind of hear a bit, it is a bit, um, how'd you say it? It sounds like you're underwater a bit. So, but instead of doing custom, you can probably just do low bass, and it sounds equally the same. So, with that, you have the underwater effect. If you want to get the stuttering effect, then you're going to, going to want to do skip two times, skip two times, skip two times, skip two times, two times, two times, and then just keep cutting. Oh, I messed up. You're just going to keep doing it two times until it's like about even. So right here, it's even. Now you have this one right here, so you're gonna cut this, and you're gonna skip one, cut, skip one, cut, skip one, cut. And then you have the last one, you're gonna wanna skip, cut. Now you have this. Sounds pretty good. So now you're gonna wanna add the flickering effect, so it looks even more cleaner. And that's gonna be adding a black right here in the sample colors. You're going to make this um, right before, like, the fast. And then you're going to, you're going to, what's it called, shorten it so it fits the slow-mo. So now you'll have it fit into the slow-mo. Now, now you're going to basically do the same thing you did with the music. You're just going to cut like that. Literally the same exact thing. So right here the same length as that, cut. Cut, right here. And then just do that until you have your product. And now you have this. Now you have your clean flickering effect plus underwater stutter effect. I will link this shotgun effects down in the description. And um, yes. So if you guys did enjoy, um, make sure to like, subscribe. And uh, yeah, let me know if you want any more tutorials. And yeah. Just in case he try to rob me Perky in my system got me feeling kinda nauseous My bitch way too pretty out here looking like a Barbie